Hey guys, what's going on? It's Will from Engineering Made Simple. So today we're going to talk about the non-inverting amplifier. The non-inverting amplifier is another uh, operational amplifier circuit that's used to drive an input voltage, which you see here, and get an output voltage that is pumped up to a higher voltage uh, without actually inverting the signal to a negative or I guess inverting it from negative to positive however you want to look at it so uh, just looking at the circuit the first thing I see is I have a positive input voltage I expect to see a positive output voltage we'll find out later uh, I have a rheostat or a potentiometer whatever you want to call it here so I actually am varying this resistance and I have a variety of resistors I have a feedback resistor and this time the uh, the power rails are a little lower than usual they're only 5 volts so yeah let's just dive straight into it so the first thing we want to do is whenever our potentiometer is set at um, 60 kilo ohms what is the output going to be so the good news with uh, non-inverting op amps is that there's a standard circuit layout and there's a, a standard formula that goes along with it so the first thing I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to write out the standard configuration and then I'm going to write out the standard formula. Alright, so what I just did is I just drew the standard non-inverting amplifier circuit. The next thing I'm going to do is draw the, or write out the standard formula, so the output voltage uh, can be represented by the sum of RS plus the feedback resistor over RS times VG. So uh, one thing to note here is uh, VG is the same thing as V positive in this situation. And we know from our op amp laws that both of these input currents can uh, can never be anything other than zero and then also the positive voltage is equal to the negative voltage um, How is that going to help us? It's really not but the main thing to focus on here is that this is VG Right here at the positive terminal. So whenever I look at this equation How can I fit our circuit? To this circuit so how can I basically uh, I guess realize this circuit in a way that looks similar to this circuit down here well we see here that VG is going to be the same thing as VP so I can go ahead and write VG here uh, what I now know is that I have an input voltage and two resistors and VG so this voltage source out here is my VG and my standard circuit layout but this is not the same thing as VG because VG is remember it's the same thing as the positive input voltage so because this is a voltage divider I have to actually use voltage division to find VG from the input voltage so that's the first thing I'm gonna do so using my voltage divider formula I can go ahead and see that um, VG is going to be equal to R2, in this case, our VAR, I'll call it for short for the potentiometer, uh, over the sum of our VAR plus 15K. All of that times 0 0.4 volts, same thing as 400 millivolts, and that's going to give me a VG value of 0.32 volts okay so now we have VG so now we can go ahead and we can directly plug VG back into my main formula and in doing so I can go ahead and just write it out this time 4.5 K plus 663 K all over 4.5 K times 
times my new VG, 0 0.32. So VO is going to be realized as 4.8 volts. So in this case, we had to take what we were given. We had to find out what VG was. We saw it was a voltage divider. We went ahead and first applied voltage division to obtain our VG so that we could now apply the formula to our circuit. Easy enough. Okay, so the next step is B. How large can I turn my potentiometer up or down before saturation? Let's see. So in this case, um, I'm looking for how large it can be, keyword large. Um, so I know I have to have a, uh, a larger R variable number in the set of two numbers. So whenever I have positive and negative saturation, I'm going to get two answers, and I'm looking for the largest one for R V A R. So uh, what I can do is I can actually represent this formula here as a larger formula that takes my voltage division into account and goes ahead and solves directly. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and just write out everything I know so far. So VO is equal to RS plus the feedback resistor over RS times my voltage division. So because VG is going to be RVAR over RVAR plus 15K times 0 0.4, uh, I can go ahead and represent it like so. So the tough part here is that I actually have RVAR on the numerator and denominator here. If you do it by hand, the algebra is going to be a little ugly, but it can be done. I went ahead and just solved it using MATLAB. Uh, you can use a T89 or any, I guess, solving calculator for this. But the main point of what we're trying to analyze here is how to approach these circuits. So uh, the answer ends up being at VO of 5 volts, which is positive saturation. RVAR ends up being 75 kilo ohms. Um, so just for completeness, I'm going to show you what the value was for negative saturation. So at negative 5 volts, RVAR is going to be equal to negative 6.82 kilo ohms. And because we got two answers and we're looking for the largest answer, the answer is going to be 75 kilo ohms. All right, well, that's uh, a short and sweet explanation on non-inverting amplifiers. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.